hello students so in this lecture we'll see a problem based on newton raphson method the problem is using newton raphson method find the root that lies near x is equal to 4.5 of the equation tan x equal to x correct it to four decimal places the solution solution so given function tan x is equal to x will consider as f of x so let f of x is equal to tan x minus x so this is a function and see that it is a trigonometric function your calculator mode for calculation you have to consider as in terms of radian so once we get this so they have given in the question x is equal to 4.5 it is the x naught value so x naught is 4.5 then different we'll go for the function differentiation that will be f dash of x will be so differentiation of tan x will be it will be secant square x minus as it is differentiation of x is 1 but you know that as per the identity secant square minus 1 is nothing but what here it is tan square x okay so this is the function differentiation function and we have function f of x, f dash of x and x naught is 4.5. So with the help of these three results, we will go for the first approximation using newton raphson method. By newton raphson method, first approximation is x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 so x0 value from the given question is it is 4.5 minus f of 4.5 divided by f dash of 4.5 so our f of x and f dash of x we know it so we will apply that formula in the calculator so therefore alpha x minus fraction bracket our f of x is nothing but tan x minus x so it is tan of alpha x so see that your mode of the calculator is supposed to be r you can see here it is the mode of the calculator is r so we need to first set that one because it is trigonometric functions so tan alpha, alpha x minus alpha x close the bracket divided by f dash of x what we got here tan square of x so it is only one function no much bracket is required so tan so tan square x you write it as tan x whole square in the calculator so better so tan of alpha x close the brackets then you go for square so tan square of x can be written as tan x whole square also so now go for calc option so give the value of x as 4.5 and see the first answer as 4.4936 so we'll take the first approximation that is x1 is equal to 4.4936 first approximation then we will go for the second approximation the second approximation is x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1 which is nothing but x1 value is 
फोर पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री सिक्स माइनस एफ ऑफ फोर पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एफ डैश ऑफ फोर पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री सिक्स सो जस्ट विल रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज फोर पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री सिक्स इन द कैलकुलेटर सो एक्स वैल्यू इज फोर पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री सिक्स and see the result here so it is 4.4934 we getting second approximation 4.4934 so previous one uh, last uh, two decimal is 36 and here it is 34 so 3634 so not uh, uh, accurate so we'll go for third approximation So third approximation is x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2, which is nothing but x2 value is 4.4934 minus f of 4.4934 divided by f dash of 4.4934. So, which is nothing but on uh, applying the value of x not as 4.4934 in the formula, so we'll get 3 as 4.4934 again. You can see here, so we're getting 4.4934. So now you can check your second approximation and third approximation. is exactly same here so therefore we can conclude thus thus the required approximation root is 4.4934 so this is the required result of the given function tan x equal to x so in this way we need to simplify a problem based on newton raphson method under this numerical methods